I tell you what, you guys ought to just do an acoustic tour. I would, I would pay good money to see that. <laughs> you would love to sit down every night. <laughs> it would be great. It's like you're living at the hall. Yeah, that'd be called the Get Fat Tour. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys, uh, do you guys have a sponsorship from Dean? Yes. You do. do you? I, I, I Dean, just, it's like, wow. Dean has uh, honestly been with us since almost the, you know, the beginning of the last record, and um, they've just been phenomenal always. Have they? They've been great. Well, they got you some slick axes, I'll tell you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really they do all of my basses, too, as well. Really, really? So, yeah, yeah. And so. his drums. Oh, yes. really? Well, D-Drum, -drum, uh, I guess a uh, section of one of their things. Uh, D-Drum sponsors uh, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> but deep down, you know, anything attached to Dimebag Daryl. We're just glad to have Oh, absolutely, you know, yeah. yeah. The yeah. soul of Dimebag is in our stuff. So. There you go, there you go. And well, it comes out and you're writing and playing, too. It's, you know, old Jeff over there, just quiet. We're going to town. I'm just turning up. That's right. <laughs> I'm in the band. <laughs> All right, so this next song you guys are going to do for us is uh, You Say It's the Hardest One on Your Album. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about that a little bit before you, you get into it. Um, well, it stems from... Anger and <laughs> some of the guys in the band uh, having enough of people in our hometown um, being on your side one day and then talking behind your back the next. Basically, like we got out of Memphis really quick. Um, we were together eight months as a band when we got our first record deal with Lob Atlantic. It looked like everything was just taking off for us, and then the industry took a proverbial crap on everyone. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got hit with the wake just like everyone else. And the time that it took us to get the record out, you know, you got some people who were running their mouth. And then we got finally got a song on the radio, and then we were touring for a long time. And it was, you know, that kind of kept them at bay for a little while. And then there was a huge break between this, you know, the first record and the second record. And in that time, you could really see who were your real friends and who weren't. And there's a lot of people there that are just, you know... They were waiting for us to fail. You know, and, really wishing loved, bad luck on you. And yeah. loved that we would fail. You know, and that's not everybody. We have beautiful friends in Memphis that <coughs> supported us the entire way through. But um, this song definitely talks about uh, that we're not going to ever go away. And that day will come when revenge will be ours, basically. <laughs> and, you know... Could be literal, and it could mean I might have to smack a bitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the tune? Ghost Town. Ghost Town. Egypt Central. But I'm not ready now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be standing on stage, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take the fall when 
the sky comes down over this ghost town, you'll be first, first against the Sitting up here in BS with me. I know you guys are very busy. Oh, busy, no. so I, I appreciate it. Uh, where are you headed to after Casper? New York. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> so slap the booking in. Is that how that works? Is that short trip. No, it's uh, a little short trip. Little short. all over America. Right, yeah. right. We have uh, Sunday. This drive. is the end of the uh, Hinder tour for us. So after this, we go back and we do festivals. Tonight's the last night. Yeah. Oh, there's no telling what's going to happen to us tonight, then. You know, speaking of which, because I interviewed you, and right after I talked to you, I talked to uh, Mark from Hinder, Hinder, and I was like, so what kind of pranks can you expect? And he just got real quiet, and he's like, we'll see. You know, so, oh, if I were you guys, I'd be worried. I just yeah. want, I want you to they, know that. Oh, <laughs> they're infamous for being crazy. Well, they said they only pick on you if they like you. So, yeah. So Which they already screwed. pick on us. Oh, do they? Well, they must really like you, then. That's cool. That's cool. So, back to New York. Uh, do you guys get any time to head home and, and just relax? Mm, or? Yeah. Maybe yeah. around Christmas. Maybe around Christmas. Yep. So aside from that, well, that's good though. If you're not busy, then then life usually isn't as good. I suppose. Right? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to get home, but I mean, uh, right now it's busy. Yes. Yeah, and it, the fans have been so awesome about this new record um, that we still totally feel obligated to be touring around and trying to build it up ourselves. You know, they're doing it going hand in hand. So. Well, right on. Well, good luck to you guys down the road, and I hopefully we'll see you back here. And if not, then you get too big. Don't forget your friends in Casper. Oh, thank you very much.